There is nothing more satisfying and annoying than trying to finish an eyeshadow palette. And I'm currently trying to finish two eyeshadow palettes, which is doubly annoying and doubly satisfying. So I am working on my Modern Renaissance palette, which was my Pan That palette for 2023, and it has rolled over into 2024. I only have four shades left of this palette, so we're gradually trying to finish it off. And I also have a palette with a big, big change. If you didn't see my video rearranging my Pan That palette, you may be thinking, uh, who is this? <laughs> but basically I was working on what remained of my Soph X Revolution palette and I just wasn't liking it. It only took me two months to realize that I really didn't like it, so I decided to completely rearrange this palette. If you missed the video where I did talk about this more and I did actively rearrange it, pull shades out of my singles collection, it's really, really satisfying. I will link it up in the cards if you did miss that. It might give you a little bit more context to this update, just so you're not really confused. But today I'm gonna be updating this project for April, which is crazy to say. Where is the year gone already? I am so excited though. I have some really, really good progress, which is absolutely amazing. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. I upload now five videos a week. We've gone down. I'm gonna start doing five videos a week. I don't know how long that'll last because my toxic productivity might kick in and go, no, 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 seven videos. But I'm gonna try and do five videos from now on. I love bright, fun, colorful makeup and project panning as you can probably tell. But with that being said, let's jump in to the video. So I'm gonna be starting with Modern Renaissance because it is the oldest and I have some serious usage in this palette, though I don't know if you can tell from the progress pictures. Let me know what you think. This is what the palette looked like last month. We had four shades remaining, like I said, and they all had really, really big pans on them. So I was thinking it wouldn't take too long to completely finish them up. I said last update that I was really gonna try and work on Red Ochre and Realgar this month. And I think I've done really, really well. I did also say that I was using all of these shades as a blush mixed together and that's how I was going to continue using them in the coming month. And this is what it looks like today. Now I feel like Love Letter and Realgar really haven't had any pan expansion and I feel like Red Ochre and Bon Fresco has had the tiniest pan expansion which is crazy because when I talk about these numbers with you guys they are big numbers. They are big numbers. I have used this so much this month so I really don't understand why I'm not seeing any visual progress. Here we go, this is what we look like. I'm a little bit nervous about this because I have used this so much and you can't really tell. I'm, I'm nervous, I'm getting nervous now. So I'm gonna go through the numbers with you guys now. So Bon Fresco, I am wearing Bon Fresco today. I should say this look is one of the main looks that I've been doing with this palette. I've got red ochre all over the lid and in my crease and I've blended it out with Bon Fresco. And I have a shade from my Pan Those Eyeshadows on the lid. So that is the kind of look number one that I've been doing every day getting good use out of these two shades. I really, really like this look. It's like a safe look that I go to the office with, I go out every day with. It's definitely helped me get use out of these two. But Bon Fresco, I have used this 19 times this month for a total of 47 uses in the project. The pan has expanded a tiny bit, but 19 uses worth is crazy. I do have a theory though. So last month I did say, if I use this as a blush and I also use it as an eyeshadow, is that one or two uses? And you guys said two uses. So what I like to do, and I'm wearing it today, I dot each of these shades and then I use it as a blush and then I dot them again and I put it on the other side. So because I'm using such a big brush for that, I think, instead of expanding the pan, it's just kind of making the product thinner. So I don't think we'll get much pan expansion yet from using it that way. So that is something that I am keeping in mind when it comes to pan expansion. Love Letter I have used 15 times this month for a total of 71 uses in the project, which is crazy. That is so many times, 71 uses. Holy moly. <laughs> it is a very bright fuchsia pink. I am not a bright fuchsia pink girly, let me tell you that. But 
I'm working away on it slowly. I do use it sometimes. I have mostly used it in the blush combination this month. Red Ochre I have used 20 times this month for a total of 65 uses in the project. I think that's a really, really good amount of uses. Again, I've used it in this kind of look a lot. I love this look. I feel really confident in this look, so I'm really, really happy that I have discovered it. And finally, Realgar, I have used this 18 times this month for a total of 80 for uses in the project. This really hasn't expanded that much, but I will say this product on the bottom, which is where I do mostly focus my brush, it is very thin, so hopefully we can have some pan expansion next month. Hoping, 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 hoping. It's all hopes and dreams right now. I'm happy with the numbers in this palette, but I'm not happy with the visuals. I don't know, I just expected a lot more. I will say Bon Fresco looks very thin in the pan now, which is great. I thought there'd be more progress. I have got a really nice work look as well with Realgar. I just put a deep brown in the crease and then I blend it out with Realgar and I really like that for work as well. That is mostly focusing on the other palette, which I'll talk about in a minute. So weights, we have lost weight. Last month we gained a lot of weight, which is a little bit crazy. So I was a little bit nervous to weigh this palette, but I'm happy to say we have lost some weight. So last month we weighed 178.95 grams and this month we weigh 178.63 grams, meaning we lost 0.32 grams, which isn't much. It's not much, but I'm hoping that I can uh, get a little bit more progress, hopefully. Okay, so now let's move on to the big difference in today's video. So this is, I don't even know what to call it anymore because it's definitely not the Sofex Revolution palette. I don't know, my, my singles palette, I guess. On screen now is what my original Sofex Revolution palette looked like when I updated it last month. You can see it's just not very me and that is something that I've really had to come to realize over the past month or few weeks. I really wanted to finish this palette because I'd worked so hard on it in previous years and I got to the point where I could depot it and I thought, right, I've got a few shades left, let's whack it out the park but I just don't like the shades in this. This is what the palette looked like after a few weeks, just before I decided to get rid of half the shades and get rid of the shades that I just didn't like. You can see I did hit pan on peaches, which is great, but um, yeah, peaches ended up going anyway. <laughs> so this is what my new palette looked like the day that I put it together. You can see it is a lot more cool tone, which I love. It's got some sparkly indie duochrome shades, which I love. I was really struggling with the shimmers in particular in the Sofax Revolution palette because it was very revolution quality. I like sparkly, bright, shimmery, in your face sparkles. And this is what my palette looks like today after maybe like two and a half weeks of use. I think we've done really, really well. Pug especially is on its last legs. We've expanded the pan in Nightmare. We've expanded the pan in Pink Champagne. I'm really, really happy working on this palette and I'm really excited to continue. So before I talk about this new palette, I will say before we rearranged it and before we took out loads of shades, I had used pink champagne four times. I had used peaches two times and I had used nightmare six times. So they are the only shades that I used before I rolled this new palette in. I just was not feeling it. I don't like super warm tones, uh, despite what I'm wearing today. <laughs> They're not the shades that I would like really want to wear, you know? So let's go through my new palette. I will share the uses with you. There is also one more change that I would like to make today. So Ranch, this is the bright white inner corner shade. I have used this 10 times this month. It is a new shade in this palette, so I had not used it any times before. If there's only one number that I say, that means that it's a new shade. But like Pug, for example, I will say I have used this six times this month for a total of 18 uses. That means that it is an original shade to the Sofax Revolution palette. Hope that makes sense. So yeah, Pug, 
I've loved using Pug over the past few months. This is definitely going to be the first shade that is gone. I actually have this mixed with Realgar today as my bronzer. I've loved using it like that and it also gets a lot of use on Realgar as well. It wouldn't surprise me if this is gone by next month if I keep using it as a bronzer. However, that does mean I have three other bronzers that I'm trying to pan which will take a step back. But I don't know, I think I can balance them quite easily. I also love this just in my crease with Vixen. It is so stunning. I absolutely adore it. So yeah, it's gonna be Warm Taupe 2.0. I'm gonna mourn this. I'm gonna want it back, but it's okay. I'll have it done very, very soon because this is crazy. Look at that. Vixen is a new shade in this palette and I have used this three times this month. This has like a, a red to green duochrome in it, but also like a taupey base. So it goes so well with these two shades. I absolutely adore it like so much. It's so sparkly, so stunning. And that is what I was missing with the Sofex Revolution palette. There were just no beautiful shimmers and then all the mattes were like really warm tone I'm like I don't want that I, don't, I want this not that so three uses on this so this shade prowl I've only used this one time and that is because I have been working really really hard on this shade which funnily enough is from the Sofex Revolution palette this is two shades mixed together and I've been working on this in my this is fantasy project pan so my original thought was if I use this shade for my brows and I use this shade for my eyeshadow, then I can get use on both of them. However, I have decided I'm going to just focus on this for brows and eyeshadow until it is finished. You can see there's barely any left in it anyway. And once this is done, then I will start working on prowl. So this shade will probably be a little bit neglected for the time being just because I'm working on this so hard. But as soon as this is gone, this is brows, this is eyeshadow, and I will probably get a lot of use on this when this is gone. So that's why it's not been used too much this month. It probably won't be used too much next month. But we know the reason why. It's okay. I have faith. I use these kind of shades every single day. So I'm not worried about that. Next is Rose Quartz. I have used this three times this month and this has a pan in it already. I'm really happy that I've put some shades with pan in already. It just makes me a little bit less stressed. This I remember not liking too much in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, but I actually really like it now. I'm pairing it with Realgar a lot and it's just a really nice everyday shade for the office, for just out and about in town. I really, really enjoy that. I'm glad that I've got the opportunity to work on this. Next we have Tiger's Eye. I have not used this at all. It is a new shade. Uh, I don't know, I think the greeniness of it is putting me off a little bit, but I also haven't really had a chance to work on this shade yet. So I think they'll work really well together. I just haven't got around to it yet. Sunlight I have used one time. This also has a bit of a greeny flip to it, which I absolutely love. But again, uh, I just haven't got around to it yet, which is fine. I've been plowing into shades that I really, really want to finish up and really want to focus on. This just isn't one of them. Next, we have Cup of Tea. I've used this two times for a total of eight uses in the project. This was a shade original to the Sofex Revolution palette, and we did hit pan on it a few months ago, maybe one or two months ago. Again, this is on the back burner until Realgar is finished. It is very similar to Realgar and... I don't know, I just want Realgar done. I think once Realgar's done, this will not take very long to finish either. It's very, very thin in the pan, so I am not fussed about that at all. I'm not stressed about it. I think it's gonna be very easy to use up. It's a very everyday shade, so I'm happy about that. Next is Pink Champagne. I have used this 11 times this month for a total of 32 uses in the project. I'm wearing this on my inner corner today. It goes so beautifully with this red look that I have made. I'm really, really liking this. Sometimes I do also use it as a highlighter, as a face highlighter. So I'm so, so, so excited to keep working on this. The pan is definitely expanded and it's very, very thin as well. So I don't think that will take too long to finish. Next is Aqua. And if you watched my project pan, my rolling project pan, I'll link it up in the cards, you will know that I have a plan for this. So this shade is like 
it's got a little bit of a sheen in it. The shimmer doesn't go away when you blend it and it almost looks like I have this weird film on my eye. I really don't like it. I've used it one time. It's a new shade in this palette. However, I have been working on this shade called What's the Tea in my Rolling Project Pan. This is a true matte. This is not got any shimmer in it. I like this way more and you can see we are pretty close to finishing this. So what I'm going to do is take out Aqua and put in What's the Tea. And that is the new palette. I'm pretty sure this is the last change that I'm going to make in this palette. I'm actually going to declutter Aqua because I really do not like that weird filmy sheen. I, I just, I think it looks awful. Maybe if this was the only shade that I was wearing in the crease, it would look quite nice. But I very rarely use just one shade in the crease. So it's just not working with my preferences. I would rather have a true matte, which is what What's the Tea is. Get rid of this, declutter it. I, I'm not going to use it. I know that. I just don't like it. So that is the new shade. I have been working on it, like I said, in my rolling project pan for quite a while. So it does have some use on it. But for the sake of this project, I am going to start this at zero uses. Next I have, let me turn my page, Pine Tree. I have used this two times this month for a total of four uses. This was in the Soph X Revolution palette. So I had got use on it previously. And finally, Nightmare. This shade has definitely expanded the pan. I have used this 19 times this month for a total of 44 uses in the project. I've started doing eyeshadow wings. It's what I'm wearing today. I did try eyeshadow wings previously and I really didn't like them, but I don't know. Times have changed and so have I. Now I really like eyeshadow wings. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fickle like that. What can I say? <laughs> so I'm really, really happy with this palette. I think goals for next month is, um, I think I can finish Pug, to be honest. If I keep mixing it with Realgar as a bronzer and I keep using it on my eyes every now and then, I think this is going to be gone. I really don't think there's much left in there at all. I think I'm going to keep working on these two inner corner shades, expanding the pan, expanding the pan on uh, Nightmare, which is the black. I think overall I am going to be focusing on the Modern Renaissance because that's the one that has taken the most time. So yeah, I still think this one is going to be the star of the show and this one's kind of support. I have lost some weight on this, so I did weigh it the minute that I rearranged it. So last month we weighed 147.28 grams. And this month we weigh 146.92 grams, meaning we lost 0.36 grams. However, once I swapped out Aqua with What's the Tea, obviously What's the Tea has a lot less product in it, so I wanted to reweigh it again. And that is 144.84 grams, meaning we lost 2.44 grams just by swapping out Aqua. So I'm happy with that. Our new weight is 144.84 grams. Let's go. I don't think I'm going to be changing this palette again. I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy with it so far. I'm happy with this. I think I've managed to play around with it a bit and I'm happy. I don't think this is going to be a finish by the end of the year palette. I don't know. We'll just see how we go. I'm not hyper focused on finishing this. I am hyper focused on finishing this. So here we go. A lot of changes this month. I I am happy now though. I feel like I'm happy. I feel like the Sofax Revolution was just finish it to finish it. And with this one, I feel like I actually like it. I feel like it is a lot more me and my style. Now that I've swapped out Aqua, I feel 100% confident in it. And I'm really excited to keep using it in the future and keep finishing shades and hitting pan on shades, which is going to be amazing. I'm going to keep working on this palette. I'm going to keep using it as bronzer, as blush, as eyeshadow, as everything I possibly can. I did forget to say as well, my goal for this month is to use this this palette at least one time every day. So I'm going to use at least one shade every single day, whether that's as a blush, as an eyeshadow, as a bronzer, as whatever. I really want to knuckle down on this now and get this out because it's been a year and four months now. 
it's time to go. <laughs> so this is the end of this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And you can also keep track of my panning journeys. I also do a lot more project pans. And also look at my nails. I'm still obsessed. I got them done yesterday. I'm so obsessed with these. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be this girl. Yeah, I'm gonna be that girl. <laughs> I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you tomorrow for my inventory video. So definitely stick around for that. A lot of exciting progress. I'll see you then. Bye bye.